점수 잡는 해커스 해커스 토익 실전 천재 원 리스닝 Test 6 Listening Test In this section, you must demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This section is divided into four parts and will take approximately 45 minutes to complete. Do not mark the answers in your test book. Use the answer sheet that is provided separately. Part 1. Directions For each question, you will listen to four short statements about a picture in your test book. These statements will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the statement that best describes what is happening in the picture and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on the answer sheet. Look at the picture below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. The man is looking at the monitor. B. The man is sitting at the desk. C. The man is typing a letter. D. The man is holding a cup. The statement that best describes the picture is B. The man is sitting at the desk. So, you should mark letter B on the answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He is painting a fence. B. He is plugging in a device. C. He is talking on a phone. D. He is riding a bicycle. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. They are unrolling a large rug. B. They are turning toward a bookcase. C. They are setting down some pillows. D. They are bending over to lift a sofa. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The man is writing on a clipboard. B. The man is looking into a container. C. The man is labeling a box. D. The man is emptying out a bin. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. One of the women is removing her coat. B. One of the women is examining a document. C. The women are stepping onto an elevator. D. The women are descending a staircase. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. Students are raising their hands. B. Papers are being distributed. C. Some furniture has been arranged in a circle. D. Whiteboards are on the classroom wall. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. Chairs are being set up. B. The bottles are being filled with water. C. Some pictures have been hung. D. A laptop is being used at a meeting. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. For each question, you will listen to a statement or question followed by three possible responses spoken in English. They will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, or C 
on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Can you drive me to work on Monday? A. Is your car still being repaired? B. I really enjoy my job. C. It's my driver's license. Number eight. Where should I hang this team photograph? A. Any time next week. B. A black and white photo. C. On the conference room wall. Number nine. Is the strategic business report due tomorrow? A. Behind the office printer. B. Vinnie Hansen works at that firm. C. There's extra time because our boss is away. Number ten. Why do you prefer this tablet? A. Its screen is a good size. B. Okay, I'll switch it on. C. I don't know why it stopped. Number eleven. Are these your bags, or do they belong to someone else? A. It was a memorable trip. B. This bag is pretty heavy. C. I believe they belong to that woman there. Number twelve. Who handled preparations for the corporate banquet? A. I gave the job to Mr. Rogers. B. Attendees offered positive feedback. C. I prepared a detailed report. Number thirteen. The dance studio is at the end of Maple Street, right? A. A dance competition. B. Yes, it is. C. At the beginning of the book. Number fourteen. When will you visit Andrew's house to drop off his coat? A. I stopped by there this morning. B. He has a black jacket. C. Visitors are waiting to be let in. Number fifteen. How did customers react to our latest TV commercial? A. Better than expected. B. I didn't hear how the match went. C. I'll be sure to let them know. Number sixteen. Could you find another moderator for tomorrow's focus group? A. I joined another group. B. Are you no longer available? C. She's having trouble focusing. Number seventeen. Please don't forget to give these documents to the factory owner. A. A major manufacturing plant. B. I'll give the gloves to them. C. Thanks for the reminder. Number eighteen. Who should I select for the Employee of the Month award? A. I'm in complete agreement. B. The receptionist is quite deserving. C. During the selection process. Number nineteen. Our company newsletter is distributed once a month, isn't it? A. Every two weeks, actually. B. It contains useful information. C. On June second. Number twenty. Where should we have lunch today? A. Yes, we should. B. Oh, I can look for a place online. C. I've eaten there before. Number twenty-one. Did any of the investors call you back? A. Here's my phone number.
B. I've heard from Mr. Stevens. C. We invest in the stocks. Number 22. Why are we testing the new product at the end of July? A. That's when the prototype will be ready. B. I'm more productive in the morning. C. Oh, they're resting in the lobby. Number 23. When is Grand Avenue Books closing down? A. No, in three hours. B. They're closer than I thought. C. I'm pretty sure it already did. Number 24. Can't we move into this office space in August? A. We remove that device in advance. B. A new exhibit on outer space. C. An earlier date has been scheduled. Number 25. What was the best part of your vacation? A. Later tomorrow evening. B. Learning about the island's local history. C. For some vocational training. Number 26. Are the laptops set up for the newly recruited researchers? A. I just called technical support about that. B. No, the recruiter is. C. It's at the top of this legal form. Number 27. There's a minor leak in the hose beside the garage. A. Okay, I'll go and take a look at it. B. No, it's a major award. C. I usually park my car inside. Number 28. Anthony, would you deliver this pamphlet to Mr. Rowland in the marketing department? A. The division employs 30 people. B. I can take it in five minutes. C. Mr. Rowland would probably be able to. Number 29. Is the function hall going to be suitable or is a larger venue required? A. That's right, a sales event. B. We need a bigger one. C. We're not going to be carpooling. Number 30. Can I make it to the immigration office within 45 minutes? A. Only if you drive down Highway 70. B. The officer left yesterday. C. It wasn't made very well. Number 31. How many publishers have shown interest in your novel? A. Five or six more novelists. B. The book has been praised by critics. C. I'm in contact with a couple at the moment. Part 3 Directions In this part, you will listen to several conversations between two or more speakers. These conversations will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each conversation, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response. And mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation Welcome to City Hall. How can I assist you? I'm looking for the Recreation Department. I'm running late for my meeting with Mr. Baxter this morning. He requested a presentation on the summer sports program my organization is planning. You must be Dana Royce. We've been expecting you. The recreation department is on the third floor. I'll call Mr. Baxter now and tell him that you're here. The elevators are just to your right. I'll go upstairs now. Thanks for your help. Number 32. Where is the conversation taking place?
Number 33. Why is the woman meeting with Mr. Baxter? Number 34. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Did you hear that Greg Colson will transfer to our Scottsdale branch? Yes. Our department head wants me to recommend someone to take over the public relations team that Greg has been managing. Is there anyone in particular you are considering for the position? I was thinking of Brad Chan. He has worked here for several years and has been involved in some major projects. He wrote the press release when our firm purchased Paulson Incorporated last year. That's true. But what about Linda Ferris? She has a lot of experience as well. Hmm, good point. I've got to attend a training seminar now, but I'll go through her personnel record afterward. Number 35. What was the woman asked to do? Number 36. What is mentioned about Paulson Incorporated? Number 37. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. This is the front desk of the Harbor View Hotel. How may I help you? Hello. I have a conference call at 3 p.m., but I can't connect to the wireless internet in my suite. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Did you try entering the password? Uh, Harbor 77? It's on the piece of paper you received when you checked in. Yes. I entered that password right before I called you. Oh, I'm not sure exactly what the problem is then. While I'm looking into it, you can use the business lounge near our main entrance. There's complimentary wireless internet. Number 38. What is the man's problem? Number 39. What does the man mean when he says, I entered that password right before I called you? Number 40. What is mentioned about the business lounge? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello and welcome to the Durban Fiction Seminar. May I have your name, please? Sure. It's Jaina Kruger. Hmm. I don't seem to have a name tag here for you. Did you pre register online for the event? I meant to, but I completely forgot about it until the registration period had ended. However, I was able to buy a ticket at the entrance. In that case, you should go back to the admissions counter and ask the person working there to make you a name tag. Number 41. What type of event is most likely taking place? Number 42. What does the woman say she forgot to do? Number 43. What does the man suggest doing? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for calling the Cherry Tea Factory. Hi, I signed up for a tour online this morning, but I haven't received a follow up email. I just wanted to make sure that my request has been processed. Could I get your name, please? Sure. It's Sam Redmond. Um, I selected the 2 p.m. tour on Saturday. Just a moment. 
Um, it's odd that you weren't notified. Group of four, right? Yes. Is there anything else I need to do? Just pay the fifteen-dollar fee when you arrive. Keep in mind that we only accept credit cards. Number forty-four. What did the man try to do? Number forty-five. What does the woman imply when she says, "Group of four, right?" Number forty-six. According to the woman, what does the man have to do? Questions forty-seven through forty-nine refer to the following conversation. Mr. Sasaki, I recently received some new fabric from my supplier in India. It's a mixture of cotton and silk, um, and it is mostly dark blue. Would you like to see it? Thanks for letting me know, but that's not really what I'm looking for. The spring collection I'm designing for my clothing brand has to feature bright colors with some unique flower patterns. Well, maybe I should ask my supplier to send several different fabric samples for you to look at. I could do that this week if you'd like. Good idea. That way, I can choose the ones best suited for my collection before an order is placed. Number forty-seven. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number forty-eight. What does the man say about the spring collection? Number forty-nine. What does the woman offer to do? Questions fifty through fifty-two refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I just had a meeting with Mr. Lewis. He complained that our advertising firm's logo is outdated. He wants us to start brainstorming ways to update it. That's a good idea. Luke and I were talking about this a few weeks ago. We need a more modern logo design. Right. We should begin soon, I guess. Um, why don't I book the meeting room for this afternoon? Not quite yet, Luke. Hold off until Maria Sutherland returns from her business trip to Paris. She recently joined our design team, and I want her to participate in the process as well. Number fifty. What is the conversation mainly about? Number fifty-one. What does the woman tell Luke to do? Number fifty-two. Who is Maria Sutherland? Questions fifty-three through fifty-five refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ms. Brandon. This is Mark Lawrence calling to let you know we've started working on the chairs specified in your order. Um, but we'll send them in two shipments because the trucks can only hold fifty units each. No problem. We placed a larger order than usual this time. When will the shipments be delivered to our shop? Well, I still have to confirm the exact date with the shipping company. I'll let you know by this Friday. Excellent. Just make sure the items arrive before June eleventh, the first day of our summer sale. Number fifty-three. What kind of business does the man most likely work for? Number fifty-four. What does the woman ask about? Number fifty-five. What does the man say he will do? Questions fifty-six through fifty-eight. Refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hey, Lucy. 
Max and I are going to see Northward at Central Cinema. It starts at 7 p.m. Do you want to come with us? Actually, I need to stay at the office until 8 p.m. today. I'm getting everything ready for next week's board meeting. Well, according to the schedule, there's another showing at 8 30 p.m. Would you be able to join us then? I think so. Um, I can't drive there though. My car is currently being repaired. We live in the same neighborhood, so why don't we share a taxi both ways? That would work. Number 56. What is Lucy invited to do? Number 57. Why must Lucy work late? Number 58. What does the man suggest? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Several employees have complained that the desks are uncomfortable in our office. Apparently, they're too high and they can't be adjusted. What do you think? Honestly, I agree with the staff. I know other companies use adjustable standing desks. They're very popular since workers have the option of either standing or sitting. Hmm. Could you please look for some suitable options online and send me your findings by email? Sure. I'll get that information to you by 5 p.m. today. Wonderful. In the meantime, I'll have Mr. Rowland go around to each employee's workspace and ask about their preferences for new desks. Number 59. What problem does the man mention? Number 60. What will the woman do later today? Number 61. What will Mr. Rowland do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and receipt. Welcome to Frazier Decorative Goods. I bought this window blind here yesterday, but when I tried to hang it at home, I realized that it's too short. I want to return it, please. Certainly. We stock blinds manufactured by Vincento, Perfect Home, and others. Would you like to browse some of these? I think I'll order some new curtains online, so I'd rather just get a refund, actually. All right. Do you have your receipt? Yes. Here it is, along with the credit card I used for my purchase. Okay. Give me a minute to make sure there is no damage, and then I'll process your refund. Number 62. Why is the woman returning an item? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much will the woman be refunded? Number 64. What will the man probably do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and rental chart. You've reached Easy Step Trucks. Hi, I've been offered a position at Washington University, so I'll be relocating to Seattle next month. I need to rent a moving truck. Okay, how large is your current residence? It's a two bedroom apartment. In that case, I'd recommend a mega truck. The basic rate is $75 per day. Hmm, that's more than I expected. I don't have much furniture, so a smaller truck would probably be sufficient. Well, we have one that costs $55 per day. It would probably be big enough. Great. Can I make a booking over the phone or should I visit your office? Just go to our website. Uh, www.easytruck.com. Number 65. Why is the woman moving to Seattle?
Number 66. Look at the graphic. What kind of truck will the woman most likely rent? Number 67. What does the woman ask the man about? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. Excuse me, I noticed a flyer the other day that said your store not only sells instruments but also offers music classes for beginners. Is that true? That's right. We employ multiple instructors, all of whom are very experienced. Is there a particular instrument that you want to try? I'm already familiar with the piano and violin. My current goal is to learn how to play guitar. Since I have no experience, I'll need a very patient teacher. We've got just the person to help you out. Now let's head over to the counter. We can figure out a time that works for you and get you signed up for classes. Number 68. How did the man learn about a service? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Who will most likely instruct the man? Number 70. What will the speakers probably do next? Part 4 Directions In this part, you will listen to several short talks by a single speaker. These talks will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each talk, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. I'd like to thank everyone on the Board of Directors for coming to this year's strategy meeting. We're going to follow the same agenda that we had in previous years. This morning, we'll hear reports from the heads of the Finance and Product Design Departments. After lunch, we'll talk about revenue projections for the coming year. And at 3 p.m., we'll have an in depth discussion about the mobile phone applications that we'll be releasing soon and how they can be used to capture a greater share of the market. Now, before we get started with those activities, I'd like to take the next few minutes to distribute some handouts. Number 71. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 72. What does the speaker say will be discussed at 3 p.m.? Number 73. What will most likely happen next? Questions 74 through 76. Refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Ms. Brock. This is Matthew Zinder from Music Magazine. I'm wondering if I could set up a photo shoot with you for next week. I'd like to take your picture in Pembroke Concert Hall, as you were recently named conductor of the regional orchestra. The images will be used in an upcoming article about、uh, the orchestra's new leadership. I realize that you have a busy schedule, but I'm guessing it'll just be half an hour or so. Could you please call our office and let me know whether you'd be interested? Number 74. Why is the speaker calling? Number 75. What does the speaker mean when he says, I'm guessing it'll just be half an hour or so? Number 76. What does the speaker ask the listener to do?
Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following advertisement. Are you looking for a unique hobby? Do you need more ways to express your creative side? If so, then come to the pottery class at the Midtown Artist Loft. We can accommodate people with a wide range of skill levels, from beginners to long time enthusiasts. And from May to July, our visiting instructor will be Diego Bello, who has displayed his collection of vases at gallery events across Europe. Visit the Midtown Artist Loft online to see photos of our students' handmade pieces and to enroll today. Number 77. What type of class is being advertised? Number 78. What does the speaker say about Diego Bello? Number 79. According to the speaker, why should listeners go to a website? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I know that you all are still new to our firm's accounting department and have yet to master our software for tracking travel reimbursements. However, Entering and updating requests from staff is an important part of your job. And since some of you have mentioned that you find the software confusing, I've organised a training session on the matter. I've asked Mr. Noons, a technology specialist, to explain the software. His talk shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Before he begins, though, please pick up one of the software user guides from the stack on the table. He will be referring to this document throughout the workshop. Number 80. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 81. According to the speaker, what task was assigned to Mr. Noons? Number 82. What will the listeners do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Thank you all for coming tonight to help raise money for our nonprofit dental organization, Clean Teeth. My name is Ashani Mia, and I'm the president of Clean Teeth. Now, before we begin, I'd like to make some brief announcements. First, I've prepared various brochures detailing past and current projects, such as our most recent initiative with low income families in Detroit. They have been laid out on the table near the entrance. Second, The auction won't start until 7 p.m., but I suggest you check out the various donated goods up for auction. That way, you can familiarize yourself with the items, which will make the bidding process easier later. Number 83. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 84. What does the speaker mean when she says, They have been laid out on the table near the entrance? Number 85. What does the speaker suggest listeners do? Questions 86 through 88. Refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Mr. Collins. My name is Alice Lee, and I'm calling to welcome you on behalf of our local neighborhood association. The organization was founded last year to help people who move into our area settle in. I have a welcome basket for you, which is filled with homemade treats from association members, as well as coupons donated by local businesses. I'd like to bring it to your house within the week. The visit will only take a few minutes, although I'd be happy to stay longer to answer any questions you might have. 
Please call me back at the number I've used to reach you to set up a time. Number 86. Why is the speaker calling? Number 87. What does the speaker have for the listener? Number 88. What will most likely happen within the week? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following broadcast. In other news, the Woodward County Fair will be held from October 2nd to October 5th in Abbott City. The regional event will feature carnival rides, games, and amazing food. Also, a visual arts tent will be set up this year for the first time in order to promote artists from around the area. And as was done at past events, several bands will hold shows each afternoon. Finally, A special children's zone will include singers, clowns, and magicians. General admission tickets will be sold at the entrance gate of Hanson Park on each day of the event. Number 89. What event will take place in October? Number 90. What is mentioned about the event? Number 91. How can listeners acquire tickets? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Starting next week, our orchestra hall is going to start accepting digital tickets in addition to traditional paper ones. In order to process a digital pass, You will have to scan the ticket barcode that is on the customer's smartphone. This can be done on the new machines that we had hooked up this morning. Although this will require staff to learn a new process, recent trends are clear. These days, smartphones are used in all sorts of ways. Okay, I'd like you all to follow me to the front desk so I can show everyone how to properly use the scanners. Number 92. Where do the listeners work? Number 93. Why does the speaker say smartphones are used in all sorts of ways? Number 94. What will the listeners do at a front desk? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and mall directory. Attention all Gibson Mall shoppers. This summer marks a number of changes to our shopping centre. In addition to adding three new rides to our wacky World Amusement Park, our food court has been expanded. Just this week, a brand new fast food restaurant, Burrito House, opened for business. To celebrate their opening, customers can get an order of chips and salsa at no additional cost with any entree. But that's not all. Gibson Mall is also hosting many events these days. For instance, children's book author Gemma Harrison will be signing autographs to promote her newest publication. This event will take place at Reed Topia from 1 to 3 p.m. Number 95. What was recently opened? Number 96. What does the speaker say some customers will receive for free? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Where will the signing event take place? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and survey.
Since sales have been weak at our branch of Petra Motors for a while, the marketing department manager Dan McGee conducted an extensive customer survey about three months ago. After reviewing the feedback, we implemented some changes and then conducted a follow-up survey last week. Our lowest scoring category last year is now our highest rated one. That's certainly good news. However, customers are still not very impressed with our showroom's interior design and the speed of our services. I've put together a brief slideshow that covers both of these issues, which I'll show you now. It offers multiple suggestions about how our mechanics can speed up their workflow. Number ninety-eight. Who is Dan McGee? Number ninety-nine. Look at the graphic. Which category got the lowest score last year? Number one hundred. What will the listeners probably do next? Test 6이 끝났습니다. 이제 정답을 불러드릴 테니 채점을 해보시기 바랍니다. Test 6. 1. C. 2. David. 3. Boy. 4. David. 5. David. 6. C. 7. A. 8. C. 9. C. 10. A. 11. C. 12. A. 13. Boy. 14. A. 15. A. 16. Boy. 17. C. 18. Boy. 19. A. 20. Boy. 21. Boy. 22. A. 23. C. 24. C. 25. Boy. 26. A. 27. A. 28. Boy. 29. Boy. 30. A. 31. C. 32. Boy. 33. Boy. 34. A. 35. A. 36. David. 37. Boy. 38. Boy. 39. C. 40. David. 41. C. 42. David. 43. A. 44. C. 45. David. 46. C. 47. C. 48. Boy. 49. David. 50. David. 51. C. 52. A. 53. C. 54. Boy. 55. A. 56. Boy. 57. David. 58. Boy. 59. C. 60. Boy. 61. C. 62. David. 63. C. 64. A. 65. A. 66. C. 67. C. 68. Boy. 69. A. 70. C. 71. Boy. 72. C. 73. C. 74. David. 75. Boy. 76. Boy. 77. C. 78. Boy. 79. Boy. 80. A. 81. Boy. 82. C. 83. David. 84. C. 85. A. 86. Boy. 87. Boy. 88. A. 89. David. 90. C. 91. David. 92. David. 93. Boy. 94. A. 95. C. 96. Boy. 97. David. 98. David. 99. Boy. 100. 
A. 이제 맞은 문제 개수를 세어 보신 후 리스닝 점수 환산표에 따라 자신의 점수를 확인해 보시고 교재의 첫 장에 있는 목표 달성기에 점수를 표시해 보세요. 수고하셨습니다.